Hello and welcome to Sunday afternoon. It has just gone six o'clock. Um, we are midway through the second half in a rather topsy-turvy game between Everton and Brentford. Won't spoil the score there, but it's quite an eventful game so far. Um, we've reached the end of the English Football League team of the season and it, the Saudi team of the season has just come into packs. So we could have a look at those. There will be some obvious players that have been around in the Saudi League for a good few years now. So those and all the usual names to be expected. Uh, let's have a look in objectives and milestones, see if we've got anything else there today. Uh, we do have one thing, a team of the season, Tawamba, I think is how you pronounce it. We've got nothing in events, despite all the finals and the end of the season stuff coming up. Um... Season progress is progressing, surprisingly. Bundesliga Cup, Premier League Cup is there. Nope, Tawamba is the only thing that's here. I'm guessing that's going to be a Saudi. Yes, it is. Now, finesse goals with Saudi Pro League players in any foot game mode, 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 in any foot game mode. Okay, so it's really easy because... It's a Saudi league, therefore there's less demand for it, I'm guessing. Bit weird. But there is a swaps player here for scoring in 12 separate matches with a Saudi league player. There we go. So let's have a look at the actual play itself. Doesn't look grey off the bat. Six foot two striker, medium, low work rates, three star, three star. Not great nationality links being Cameroon. There are a lot. He looks like a... It's weird. The aggression is low. The strength is high. Decent in the air. Lots of sprint speed, but the acceleration is lower. And the dribbling is well-rounded, but not fantastic. I guess, um, my opinion, these numbers have been somewhat screwed, skewed by the team of the seasons and therefore you're expecting 90 plus stats all over the shop and this guy's only got them on the strength and the shooting really just some big gaping gaps there but it's worth doing to have a card that you can use in an SPC that you can use um, as ex an exchangeable one that you don't mind getting rid of plus there's electron players pack electron players pack premium gold pack Swap token and 75 plus and a gold pack. So there's a chance of getting something out of there. We have nothing in milestones because they just don't put anything in milestones anymore unless it's icon swaps. Let's restart these. Who have we sold? Ooh, a position one sold. Cool. Yeah, I got two good preview packs earlier on today. Um, as in, I bought them both. First one got an 86 Muslera. 80, um, the goalkeeper in the Turkish League and then got a one of the Orange Man of the Match cards. So, profit from... but Ooh, we have a show... Ah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Rangers versus, um, as you can see, I train Frankfurt coming up in the Champions... Sorry, sorry. The Europa Champions League final. Sorry, the UEFA Europa League final, I'm guessing I should say. And so we have a Bundesliga right back card to Costa. High high work rate six foot two. He's he had a special card last year or the year before. It was decent, I remember. He's strong at the back. He's a solid right back. Good pace. Good aggression all over the shop. Good physical stats. Good defensive stats. The dribbling is really good as well. 88, that's a little bit low. I would have expected to be high given those numbers that are there. No player traits on him. He's always a right wing back, rather right back. So I guess that's the way that Frankfurt play. And it's two segments as well. Goldson being an English centre back. I'm assuming they're going to price these the same. His dribbling is really good as well for a centre back. Obviously, as a right back, you'd expect better dribbling stats than a centre back. Def his defending is better. His physicals are pretty solid as well, and his pace is a good split. With the ninety, you can still put a, a shadow, a catalyst, or something like that on him, and not worry about wasting too much 
um, of the boost. Has he got any traits? Power header, always useful from corner to whatnot. Six foot three frame. So how are they going to prize these two? Let's have a look. A team of the week and an 82 and an 85. They're both going to be the same, aren't they? No. Okay. 80. So an 80, 83 and an 84 with no team of the week. Or an 82 and an 85 with a team of the week. I mean, I wonder why they've done the value and I don't know which which one of those would be actually be cheaper I'm guessing most people with their clubs can put an 82 and an 80 or an 83 out without batting an eyelid but the 84 the 85 maybe the difficult I don't know which one would be more expensive but there's no team of the week in the Goldson ones so I guess that's an advantage both decent cards depending if they fit in your squad they're worth doing I mean they're 90 now the winner's going to go to a 92. So his pace will go 97, 94. That's a lot of good stats, actually. And because his highest start overall is 97, it just allows the plus two without wasting any of that boost. And does the same apply to Golton? Yeah, highest stat is the 93 reactions and heading accuracy and strength. So yeah, good potential for boost there. The Saudi Pro League SBC, this is a 90 rated right midfielder. Is he short? He's short, 5 for 8. That explains the high agility, balance, dribbling and ball control, but the low composure and low reactions. Comparatively, obviously, you know what I'm saying. Got good jumping for a short, small player. Low aggression, that's pretty much standard. And the pace split is really good. I don't need to touch the pace. So potentially a maestro. That would up the reactions to 99. Obviously you cannot touch composure with any chemistry card. So a maestro looks like the obvious one there. He's got no traits on him. But he is Brazilian, so he will link. So with a Brazilian right back. Is he going to be an 82 or an 83? 84. Okay. I see that. I see that. So if we've got... What Brazilian defenders have we got? Any Brazilian right backs? Got the Cafu. Oh, I've got the MLS one. So it'd be a good link to that or any midfielder that's there. Obviously, with, as a right... Ugh, as a right midfielder, you can link him. I'm sure I've got rid of quite a few, but... Lincoln, Portuguese League, Fernandinho, Premiership, Icons, and French League as well. Obviously, you've got French League on Neymar, you can link as well. But obviously, on the left wing, doesn't link, link, doesn't link directly to the right wing. So, one showdown SPC we like. One new team of the season SPC we like as well. I'll have a look in the team of the season tab in a second. Let's see what else we've got going on here. 92 and Kunku is still there. 94 Ronaldo is still there as well. And the kits and the icon and the kits. So that's everything in that section. Have we got any new leagues? No new leagues. Have we got any new icons? No new icons. No, nothing. So, team of the season tab. Literally nothing. Blooming heck. Sheesh. Should be something there. Another challenge. Another flash SPC. Just something. Unless there's going to be something at 7 o'clock instead. What two things have I got here? Where have they come from? Hmm. Put them up. Oh, yeah, I was buying a couple of players earlier on. So, let's see the store, see what we got. Um, so, La Liga is now, Serie A is now, and League One is now, yeah. So, promo packs, Bundesliga, Bundesliga. None of them worth going anywhere near. 22 hours on that, and 22 hours on that. So, there's nothing going on down here in the premium bundle. Nope, nothing there. So, we go and go back in again, and... 
see if there's a different flash screen if they've put in the Saudi team in the introduction. Are we going to see it? I don't think they will, to be honest. They don't seem to change it. Okay, that was Bundesliga because I saw Bellingham. I wonder if we get, we're not going to get a Saudi Cup in the same way that we got a um, we've got the Bundesliga and the Premier League one because we didn't get an English Football League one. So I think they only do it for the major leagues. A bit of a shame because you could literally put all of them in. That'd be quite interesting. I could lose all of the leagues, not just the major leagues. So let's go to news, see if uh, the t item releases. Will this have a Saudi team section? No. Hmm. Okay, let's go to Saudi League, go to concept players and have a look in there. Because there will be all the normal criteria. Uh, no criteria? Normal candidates for players. So there we go. 94 Benega. That's a decent card any way you look at it. He's short, so obviously the jumping stats are low, the air stats are low, but that dribbling is really good. That passing is 96. That's really good style passing. Finishing is not amazing. Pace could do with a card. Flare trait outside the foot shot trait. It's a good card. And Argentina... Argentina players link in well with him. Anson Talisca, five-star skill moves. He's going to prove popular. He'll be cheap and he'll be ridiculous. The composure at 88 isn't great, but his body frame just works well. His one to watch is an 87 and it's still really useful. So this 93 is going to be really good. Plus that long shots, that curve, that free kick accuracy, he's going to be good at free kicks as well. The balance... I mean, it still kind of works for him. I mean, I want to try this in a couple of games for sure. And he will help me do the objectives because that card I've got. Now, Romarino has had an um, has had a card, special card for team of season in a load of other FIFAs. He's been there for a few years now. He's got no traits and he needs a maestro as well to boost that reaction's because nothing's going to touch that aggression and make any difference, but the other passing can be affected. Sorry, the other stats can be affected, including passing. And then Igalo's nothing special, plus low, low work rates just sums him up. Cueva, Nels, Christian. Five foot six, not surprised with the agility and the react agility and balance. And also not surprised, not surprised by the composure down at 80. Then we got the SBC and the objective card in these two guys. Then a pacey left mid. Al Dasari. Hegasi used to play for West Brom. That famous silver team. And then the lowest ones here. See the ex Leeds chap? Yeah. Sure. Those physicals, jumping, stamina, aggression, 99. So they've got Alioski and Higazi, both who were very rare silvers once upon a time. So, new cards today. We've got Golson versus Da Costa Showdown. Both relatively cheap, but only worth doing if they'd actually fit into your team. If you've got a Bundesliga right back already, obviously there's no point doing Da Costa as well. Um, and then we have... The what's his name? Uh, Tawamba objective and the Carlos Junior SPC. Uh, there we go. And there's no team of season SPCs, there's no new flash SPCs or anything like that in today. It's a bit of a surprise, but maybe at seven o'clock. Sometimes they put them in later. Otherwise, we'll end there. Thanks for watching. Um, the video yesterday. Didn't upload. For whatever reason, YouTube Studio just didn't decide to let me upload it. It just didn't finalise it, didn't submit it properly. So I put up earlier on this afternoon when I retried it and it did work. But for whatever reason, YouTube wasn't playing ball yesterday. But other than that, we'll roll on. I hope you've all had a good weekend. I hope you're looking forward to Monday. Um, school, work, uni, whatever you've got. Uh, I'll say goodbye now and I'll see you this time tomorrow. Goodbye.